to understand the mechanics of not only the bow hold by, by moving this this fingers up and down on your bow you know keeping a good shape as well but also when you are playing on the on the cello start with the middle strings we're going to only use this middle point mid part I call it the meat of the pulp of the of the bow we're not going to use the outer edges we're going to place it down however you look let's say you're going to look like this because you're thinking about it too much we're then going to take our long sleeve outfit we're going to take it by the wrist and we're going to let it completely drop but the minimum amount of energy it takes effort to hold the bow up that 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 tip is going to be held by your by your first finger and when that is realigned then place the bow back release then draw pull outwards in push inwards leading with your radius and ulna movement it's the elbow that pushes always engaging the right here the middle finger we're like we're pouring coffee in under the excuse me, index pouring coffee into our pouring the tea into our cello but as we get up here there's no need to engage because we have the weight of this arm that's just weighing into the instrument having this relaxed engage you some some scales you can play something like that you can play a simple song to get more comfortable with this weighted arm pull and push so the concept is like a, a heavy arm that we're pushing and pulling and the wrist and palm follow along yet relaxed this is engaged this is relaxed this is slightly engaged this is relaxed so you're doing multiple subtle nuanced muscle control movements in your arm to create this heavy present sound that you are seeking because if you if you're too tense it's gonna sound like this it's ghosty too tense Flexing so hard that my, my arm is shaking. And if it's too much, so that's too much. You need to have a, a balance between too heavy and too tense. On one side of the spectrum, we have too much engagement, muscular engagement. On the other side, we have too much gravity engagement, too much mass engagement. So between muscular and mass, we need to find that balance. And with time, you will find it. But you have to fail a little bit to get that, okay, that sounds ugly, and that, that sounds too tense. How can I close my eyes like you did wonderfully today, and there was a point where you had to close your eyes, get inside, and find out where that super focus point is. And when you did that twice a day, he was like, okay, he definitely has an idea of what deep practice is. You're going to have to do that. You're going to have to shut everything out. And make mistakes. 
Der tager ikke noget langt. 